All right, welcome to September 2022 on Spray Paint Art Secrets. This month we've got some really fascinating videos, video spray paint art lessons for you. We're going to start out with what I call alien effects because it looks a little bit like the sort of thing H.R. Geiger uh, paints. I'm not going to paint creatures, although you can use this to paint creatures and people and aliens. I'm just going to make sort of a, a very abstract composition with some uh, space effects and planets and some pyramids, but you can get an idea of how you use these sort of black and white alien effects in anything, whatever it is that you want to do with them. You can do that with the uh, with these effects. I'm just doing a simple composition so that I'm not going to overcomplicate you, but uh, I do have some other videos in the gold membership area of um, using these effects to paint H.R. Geiger like creatures, <laughs> but we're going to keep it simple with this one. So if you're interested in learning how to do that, well, you can use spray paint art to do this. You can use airbrush if you have a an airbrush that can lay down enough paint. Uh, do visit airbrushpaintingsecrets.com if you're curious about how to use airbrush to do all of these effects. Uh, but you could also do it with regular acrylic paints. I think all you would really need is uh, a way to layer the paint, at least just the top layer, because we're working with black and white. So maybe just like a spray bottle with some white in it. Or, uh, you know, if you're willing to play with your drying times, you could probably find a way to do that. But um, I'll leave that for another time, <laughs> so, but uh, it's definitely something to experiment with. Then we're going to, I'm going to show you how to paint koi fish and underwater scenes. So we're delving a little bit more into illustration. And then we're going to do some classic spray paint art effects like the waterfalls and the planets, kind of back to basics uh, spray paint art here for those who, who love the classic spray paint art effects. I love these turquoise and blue colors. They're absolutely my favorites. Gerardo used to love painting turquoise and blue paintings, but with just a tiny little bit of orange to provide contrast, just like a dusting of orange. I think that's a really nice way to go. But since this is a sort of a night nighttime sky, I'm gonna leave the orange out and I'm just gonna stick to these gorgeous greens and turquoises and I'll make a planet with a, with a castle. So we're gonna be going over palette knife techniques and those waterfalls kind of dripping you know how do you how do you do that waterfall effect all right so here what I think is the most fun painting of this month uh, it is my crazy improvisation on evolution and space <laughs> it's like frogs and embryos traveling through space of course you don't have to paint this exact thing and I hope that you don't you know like just this is to teach you how to improvise and to give you some new ideas. Look, I'm using pipe cleaners and toys to uh, make this painting. So this is a great one to do if you want to experiment with just, I don't know, whatever kind of crazy stuff you might find in uh, garage sales or thrift shops, you know, like toys, like plastic snakes and lizards, strainers, you know, this is a real imp improvising sort of painting, but it's it's also got a lot of fun effects to uh, make you think all kinds of science fiction stories in your mind, which is what I love. I love science fiction. Okay, and then we have a brief uh, little interlude where I talk about using art papers, how to prepare art papers, what kind of art papers you might want to paint on besides poster board. You know, a lot of people paint on poster board and Poster board is great, but if you want to paint in galleries, you probably want to expand a little bit, paint on some some art papers of different types. So I've, I just talk about that a little bit, very briefly, an introduction, and then we're going to go on and wrap up the month uh, with what I, I really enjoy painting these sort of fairy tale like trees. So in this one, I'm going to show you how to do a fairy tale kind of tree scene with lots of roots and. You know, you can frame any any kind of uh, spray paint art that you want, any kind of fantasy feeling that you want to create with these beautiful trees and their roots. So if you've got any questions, as always, email me, Elisa Amore at spraypaintartsecrets at gmail.com. Happy to get back to you. Uh, get all these videos at spraypaintartsecrets.com. See you inside the membership area. Ciao.